Uh, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Thank you for anyone who's coming back and for anyone who's new. I am Stacey Hendry and I'm here today with my colleagues, Daryl Moss and Lucy Diana. We are all health coaches who have come together as the Synergy Three to share our expertise and our mission is to promote vibrant health through group wellness programs. This is one of our programs, Wellness Wednesday. It's a free series every noon on Wednesday where we'll discuss different topics, simple steps to better health. So today I will be demonstrating how to cook a Singapore noodle bowl. So let's get started. So what I am doing is right now I'm warming up my stainless steel frying pan. I'm getting it hot and um, I'm going to add some organic turkey. So I'm using ground turkey and I buy organic because it's really important to have very clean meat. So I'm using organic, it's ground turkey. I'm just going to toss it in here. And um, you can use really any kind of ground meat, beef, chicken, uh, pork. I'm choosing turkey, it's a lower fat meat. And I'm just using my fork to spread it out in the pan. And we'll get this pretty much cooked. So we'll start it off like that. And let that start cooking. Now, um, if you're a vegetarian, you could also just leave the meat out and substitute it for a tofu or any any vegetables. You can just do the same thing I'm doing right here: sauté some vegetables. Uh, but I'm I'm doing it with the ground turkey. So while that cooks, I will make a spice blend, which I've made already. But what I'm using here is um, I'm using tamari. And I'm using organic tamari. It's um, a type of soy sauce. It's made from soy. But soy is something you really want to buy organic because it's typically genetically modified. So it's really important to get a good quality soy. Uh, it has nutritional benefits, but you have to be sure it's organic. So tamari is like a lower sodium version of soy sauce. There's also uh, like Bragg's liquid aminos, which is less sodium also. They all have similar flavor, slight difference, but pretty much interchangeable in a stir fry. And the other thing I like to use is coconut aminos, which is not soy at all. It's made from coconut, uh, but similar flavor. But if you don't like soy, you can totally avoid it by using coconut aminos. And a lot of these, the soy sauce really has the highest amount of sodium. So by using these alternatives, you're reducing the sodium and the salty taste. The other thing I'm putting in here is rice vinegar. So this has a nice flavor. And I just recommend that you always read the ingredient list. Uh, sometimes they're flavored and then you might see some preservatives or some chemicals. Really, you just want it made from rice because <laughs> it's rice vinegar. So that's the one ingredient. Um, we always try to follow a whole food diet. So one ingredient like rice and then the vinegar should really be the same made from whole foods. I'm also adding some sesame oil. So turkey is a really low fat option. So it's okay to add a little bit of oil. And sesame oil is a, a finishing oil. You really don't want to cook with this. You don't want to stir fry because it's it's, it's more fragile, it's not made for that, but it's really great to drizzle on your food after it's cooked. What, somebody? Um, to, to give the sesame flavor. And I like to buy the toasted sesame oil. This one is not toasted, so it's lighter in color. But the, it's a little bit darker brown and gives just a richer flavor, but either one is good. And the other thing I'm adding to the spice is, um, is curry. So I always buy organic spices. Spices tend to be radiated. So buying organic uh, prevents that and it's better. So something you can get in a health food store or you can always buy a bigger bag in Amazon and keep filling up your smaller container. So that's really all I have in my spice mix. Let's check on the turkey. It's cooking up. I'm just gonna, just 
going to stir it around. Try to break it up with your spatula and get it nice and crumbly. Um, okay, so now I'm waiting a little bit. I'm uh, also going to turn on a pot of water to cook um, the rice noodles. So these, what I'm using today are called bean threads. So these you find in a lot of Asian dishes. They're actually made from mung beans. So it's a bean rather than a rice or a pasta. So just something a little bit different. It's a good um, source of protein and uh, a little less, a lot less actually carbs than, than a pasta. So it's, it's a good choice. And it gives you that when you're craving pasta, it's, it's a good choice. So they cook in about two minutes in boiling water. So I'm going to start the pot boiling. Chop up my turkey a little bit more. All right, it's cooking up. So while I wait a second, I'm a big fan of not waiting. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm kind of the type of person who doesn't sit still. So while I'm waiting, I could do something like calf raises. This is something I do when I'm brushing my teeth, when I'm just standing around. And it's just a way to get in a little exercise while you're standing around waiting for something to happen. So you could do it while you're in the grocery store holding onto the shopping cart. Just do some calf raises. It's just a great way to engage your muscles while you're standing around. So this is almost done. Wait another minute. Um, the next thing I'm going to add, once I have the turkey pretty much cooked, I'm going to add ginger and garlic. So this is something I prep like once a month and keep in my freezer. Onions, garlic, and ginger. It's really a game changer. I'll buy a bag of the peeled garlic. I throw it in the food processor, turn it on, and it totally uh, purees it into a, a fine mince. And then I'll put it in a baggie in a single layer, really thin, and I'll seal it up. I use the reusable baggies. And then once it freezes, you can crack off what you need. And it's good for a couple of weeks. So it's great. It's so easy. I did the same thing with ginger. I peel it and then run it through the food processor and also with onions. But with onions, I just pulse it. So all three of those things I keep in my freezer. So whenever I need it, it's there, it's ready. It makes cooking so much easier. So this is almost done. Another minute. So this dish you could cook up in 15 minutes. It's so easy. So once the turkey's done, I'm gonna throw in a bag of of broccoli slaw. So this you can find in the uh, prepared, probably the salad section, the prepared food section in the grocery store, broccoli slaw, coleslaw. It's just so easy because it cooks up in minutes and it, it's, it's uh, you know, nutritious broccoli, red cabbage and carrots. Um, the other thing you can do is just make it yourself. So if you have a, a shredding blade on your food processor, you can just throw in some broccoli, stalks, some carrots, some cabbage, whatever else you like, and uh, run it through all at the same time. You don't have to clean in between each vegetable. And, uh, and then you have it and throw it in the pan. It cooks in two minutes. So this is about done. I'm just going to take it out. lower the heat a little bit and cook up the uh, the onions and garlic. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the pan just to cook these. So this is coconut oil. I'm going to add about a tablespoon just to keep 
things from sticking to the bottom of the pan. And as that melts, um, talk about healthy oils. Coconut oil is a healthy oil, olive oil, um, avocado oil, those are good oils to cook with. Just don't want them to start smoking. You want to keep it at a medium low heat. Because once it starts smoking, you're actually damaging the oils, and that's when it can become a, a strain on your body. It creates trans fats, and those are not good. So, so we want to keep it below a smoke point and use those better oils. Not extra virgin olive oil, that's more for salad dressings, but a lighter olive oil is fine for cooking. So this onion and garlic is chopped so fine, it, it probably takes like 30 seconds. I'm already smelling it. it smells delicious. And then I'm gonna throw in the broccoli slaw. So if you want to keep a, a little bit lower fat on this dish, you could use something like a vegetable broth or a chicken broth and add that instead of the oil. And you can always do that, but the oils give it a little bit of a richer flavor, so you could just put a little. But if your pan starts to get dry, you can throw in, this is a organic chicken broth. So I can just uh, give a little splash and that will help it cook without sticking. And the other thing I like to do is cover it. So if you cover it, it steams a little, so it helps you to not need as much oil. I have a little bit of the oil in there for the flavor, a little bit of chicken broth gives it some flavor too. And I'm not, I don't have to continue to add oil because it keeps sticking. So I'll let this cook probably two minutes. In the meantime, my pot in the back is boiling. So I'm gonna throw in, this is what the rice threads look like. They're very thin noodles. So I'm gonna throw them in. Submerge, make sure they get submerged in the water. So I'm gonna push them down. And, uh, and that takes like three minutes. I can cover it. You can actually turn the heat off and it'll sit there. And the, the, the needles, the noodles absorb the water. And in the meantime, my, my slaw is probably cooked. I'll give it another stir. So now I'll add the spice mix. Give it a good stir. I'm going to add the turkey back. And uh, you can break up the turkey a little bit more with your spatula. Just kind of chop it and stir it up really well. And I'm going to let it cook for two, three minutes to, um, you know, to get all the flavors together. So let me go back to my noodles. I'm going to strain them. Um, oh, sorry, you won't see me, but I'm sure you've all strained noodles. Okay, so as these uh, drain a little bit, what I like to do is, is cut them. They're actually really long noodles, so they end up becomes a little messy to eat. So I like to chop them up a little. So I'm just gonna take these noodles and put them on my cutting board. And uh, well, white on white, I probably should have used a darker cutting board, but I hope, I hope you can see. I'm just gonna take my knife and go across and cut the noodles about an inch or two. It just makes it so much easier to blend them in. Then I'm gonna turn the cutting board and go this way. So I'm just cutting them up a little. 
could wait for them to cool down a little bit, but not too long because they tend to stick together. So there you go, pretty simple. And I'm gonna throw them in the pan. trick is, when you go over here, maybe you can see better, is really stirring it all together. So the noodles, this takes a little bit, this is another workout for your arm, just mixing it all together, getting the noodles well blended. And, uh, I mean, noodle bowls are really popular. Um, but normally it's a big amount of, of pasta and that's just too much, too much carbs and really you want more vegetables. So this way by adding the meat and the vegetables, you're having less pasta, but you still get the, you know, you still get the feeling that you're eating a pasta dish, but you have all the other nutrients as well. So this is all set. I'm gonna add, if you like onion, I have some, these are, um, Scallions, I just cut the tops of scallions about two, three inches. And if you're not using a cutting board, it's easy to just use a scissor. So you can just cut these right into the pan with just the scissor. You can use that for like basil and parsley and herbs and things like that. Just, just really quick to chop what you want. The greens of the scallions are, um, you know, milder flavor, so you don't have to cook them. So you could just toss it in. If I was using the whites, I probably would have thrown them in with the onions and garlic to, to cook them up a little bit because it's a stronger flavor. So this way you can use the whole um, scallion, not waste any. And the only thing I'll add to this is sesame seeds. So these are black sesame seeds, same as you get on your sesame bagel. Very nutritious, they have protein and we have a little sesame oil, so they're a good oil. And it's just a added nutrients, it has a lot of nutrients, although you, you know, you have to eat a tablespoon or two, so they're not very big, but, but it's great. You just sprinkle it on at the end on my stir fry. You could get the, um, the normal ones are a light brown color, these are black. And I'm just sprinkling it on and I'm gonna stir that all up. And, and that's it, I have dinner ready for tonight. So I'm gonna open it up for questions. Let's see if um, anybody has any questions, you can just unmute yourself. I don't have a question, but um, I like the fact that it's a one pot dish. Yeah. <laughs> and, and not only is it easy and looks good, I'm going to try it. I, you know, and the other thing is that most of the ingredients I have, it's not foreign kinds of uh, chase it down from a Egyptian right. market or something. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. I mean, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, you can even use, like in the produce section, there's always a spiralized zucchini or butternut squash, sweet potatoes. You could use those instead of the noodles and make it an even lower carb dish. So, and those are tasty too. I, I would just throw them in to cook them a little bit when you throw the slaw in and uh, it's a different, be a different dish. This is so versatile because you could add so many different vegetables to it. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, someone asked to show the bean threads again. The brand is Kami, K-A-M-E. Uh, you, you can find them in the Asian aisle of the grocery store. Sometimes they're rice sticks. So that's good too. That's, it's just made out of rice. So that's, but it's still a, a, diff, a different kind of carb. These are bean threads, so they're made out of mung beans, which mung beans are really, really healthy and detoxifying. So uh, either one is good. I often, I use these periodically, so I will buy the whole, uh, you know, I buy like six bags on Amazon. It comes in a case because sometimes you can't find them in the store. 
any other any other questions you made us hungry stacy yeah i know smell you should be here and smell it <laughs> anyone want to drive by for a bite <laughs> yeah definitely um so just to say what's going what's coming up we'll be doing this every wednesday we're uh, each taking turns. Next week will be Lucy. And the week after is Daryl. And then our, one of our upcoming programs is a, a weight loss challenge called Slim Possible. And it's going to be super fun, a way to get outside, exercise, eat better food like this. That's going to just help you to lose weight because it's all whole food.